I don't see only part of your face. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hello, how are you today? Fine, fine, sir. Good, good. Did you have a good day? Mm, yes. yes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, some days, That's you know, right. like, yeah, you can say, oh, yeah, it was all right. I can't complain, you know. <laughs> they could have been yeah, better, when, but yes, yes, Eduardo. Yeah, when, when you say, uh, what's all right, it's like, what's nothing exciting happened, you know. Know what I mean? When they just yeah. say, oh, it's all right. Yeah. Just, just things happen. That's it. Yeah. Like nothing special, nothing in particular. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Alma Brisa. Okay. So let's begin. Welcome back. What is today's date? No, 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 no. Today, Tuesday, 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 29th. Yes, Tuesday, 29th. Which month? 2020. September, yes. Yeah, September 29, 2020. Okay, very good. So let's begin. Uh, let's have a small review about the activities we did yesterday. Uh, do you remember the activities we covered yesterday? Yes. Uh, We're talking about passive voice. Yes. What is what is the main function of passive voice? Anybody? No, no, not mention the person who does the action. Good. Yeah. When you're using the passive voice, you're sharing the information, but you don't mention uh, who's responsible for the action. So, for who's example, you said America was discovered in 1492. That's passive voice in the simple past. Now, who discovered America? We don't know. We didn't mention it. But you can say America was discovered in 1492 by Christopher Columbus. Yes. Right? So if it's necessary, you mention the doer. You mention the person responsible for the action. But the main characteristic about passive voice is that you don't mention who's behind uh, the action. So that's the action. basically the main okay. difference. Yes. Now, what are the two components that are necessary, mandatory, uh, when you're using the passive voice? Verb to be plus... Um, past participle. Yes. Participle. Verb to be plus past participle of the verb. So yes. it doesn't matter which tense you are using the passive voice, it is mandatory that you include the verb to be and the form of the verb has to be passive voice. That is correct. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No teacher. No. Okay. So let's begin. Um, so we were practicing the passive voice with the present continuous form and with the present perfect, if I'm not mistaken. So when you're using the passive voice in the present continuous, what are the, the forms of the of verb to be that you will use? Is being. Okay, being. is being or what if or it's are, are being. Okay. How do you say how do you say muchos árboles están siendo cortados? Many trees have been cut yes, down. Cut down. Okay. Many trees are being cut down. Oh. Cut down. Are being are cut. Being. Are yes. being, yes. Uh huh. How do you say muchas sucursales están siendo abiertas? No. Many, branches, days, many have, branches are being 
are, are being, being opened. opened. Very good. Many branches are being opened. Very good. Nice. So remember, if, if the information is singular, you will say is being. If it's plural, you will say are being. But like I said, uh, verb to be in the past participle form of the, of, of, of the action is mandatory. Any questions okay. or comments? No. No? Okay, I'm so let me... Um, mm -hmm. Helping. Helping. Let me see this here. Share. Helping. Where is our pin? Put down. Okay. Put down. Right here. Active voice. No, that's not it. Many trees are being cut down. Many trees are being cut down. Cut down. Yes. Yes. Let's see this here. Give me a second. Give me a second. Second time always works. Okay. Um, can you see the document that I'm sharing? Yes. Yes. I yes. Can. Yes, sir. Okay. So we have um, ten different exercises. Um, they are in um, in the present continuous form, the active voice. You have to transfer this information to passive. So remember, is being um, are, promoted, are being, are being uh, promoted. So you always need to include the verb to be, um, and the form of the verb always is past participle. Let me see this here, eight to nine, nine to 10, nine to 10, nine to 10, right here. Okay, so I'm sending this image to the WhatsApp chat and let me make the rooms. Three, four, five, create rooms, add a room, and here we go. Now, uh, who, are, who, are going to, who is going to make number two? Okay, if you want, I can start with number two. My father is washing the car. The, uh, the, it's kind of confused. Okay, how will you My say that in a passive voice? Yeah, there is. My father, my father is is washing the car. Okay. The car was washing by ah, my car. El carro está siendo lavado. El carro está siendo yeah. lavado. How do you say that? The yeah. car is being washed. Washed. 
That's it. No, no. Washed. no. The car the, is being washed. The car is. By my father. If you want to mention who's doing the action, you can do it. But when you say the car is being washed, that's 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 enough. Yeah, yeah. I think don't, okay. it, it don't sounds good if, if you say the name. You you can say it. The you car. can say the car is being washed by my father, and 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 that that's not a problem. But remember, the main difference, uh, the main characteristic about um, passive voice is that you don't mention who's responsible for doing the action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you, you're also free to mention. So you say, yeah. the car is being washed by my father. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult, this, this grammar in English, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and let me explain that in, in a real life situation, people usually uh, prefer using the active voice, which is the, the regular structure that we usually find in, yeah, in tenses. Please. However, yeah. don't be surprised if someone starts using passive voice all of a sudden. So it, it, it is good and it's recommended that, uh, uh, that you guys are familiar with these structures as well. Yeah. So, so try to yeah. to to use it a, a, a two. Hey, teacher. Hello. Hello. Okay, football. Now, when you say football, uh, what is the personal pronoun that we use to uh, instead of football? What is the personal know. pronoun? Like if I said Maria, oh, personal pronoun she. If I say Carlos and Jaime, that's they. When I say football, what is the personal it. pronoun? It, it, exactly. So it. it, is it plural or singular? Singular. Singular. So football is not yes. being played. Yes, no. the rest is perfect. Very good, the rest is perfect. All right. The sentence is in active voice is 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 in uh, present present or uh, present using is or are or have or has. We need to take care if is present continuous passive or present perfect passive. In this case, in the sentence that Ovidio asked, is present, we mm -hmm. need to change to present continuous passive because the verb is in, um, how I say, how I say, continuous form. Yeah. Can you read, please, uh, another, uh, mm -hmm. can you repeat the, the sentence, uh, Ovidio, please? And number two, my father yes. is washing the car. My father yes. is washing the car. The verb is in is is in continuous form. We need yes. to 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 translate to passive to passive voice using uh, the car is is being uh, watched by my father. Okay, good. So the car is being washed by my father. And just yeah. remember something that that's a very uh, complete answer. Uh, when you use the passive voice, you don't really need to mention who's responsible for the action. So you could say, well, uh, mm. can, can I use your car for two hours? They said, I'm sorry, the car is being washed. Okay. El carro that's, está siendo lavado. So who's all. washing it? We don't really yeah. care, but oh. you just need the information. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Right. So. Mm -hmm. The car is being washed. Being only. washed. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. Washed. The car is being wet. Yes. Okay, thanks, teacher. Good. It's been, it's been brought by me. Writing. Uh, which number are you doing? Number five, but we have, we, we, have, we have doubts with them. Number four, uh, 
we think is a picture of him is being take, take, taken. Ta taken. Taken. Yes. Take, took, taken. taken. So a picture of him is being taken. Taken. Okay. Yes. By her, if you if you want to say who's responsible for the action, you don't really need to mention the person, but you said a picture of him is being taken. Okay. Yes. All right. And number five uh, must be a, a poem. It's been a world. Wrote is the simple past form. What is the past participle? Uh, written. Written, exactly. Written. So what is the complete answer? A poem, a poem if being written by me. Good, written. good, nice. Okay. Um, number six. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good, how was your day, guys? Very hard. Oh, it'll be busy. <laughs> mm -hmm. What time do you start working? I a start, I start to work at 7 a.m. 7 a.m., and Julius, you start at 8. Yes, I start working at 8 a.m. Okay, and what time is your finishing hour? Uh, in theory, because sometimes now, you know. Yes, now <laughs> is finished. It was finished at eight thirty. Okay, so twelve hours. Ooh. Yes. What about you, Regina? What time do you usually finish? I I finish at four thirty-five. But I just have 30 minutes to take uh, to take my lunch. Then we have to uh, work hard. Okay. And do you mm -hmm. work Saturdays? No, I don't work Saturday, on Saturdays, but we we always have to be punctual of, in our uh, schedule. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Which number are you doing right now? Number we were doing number, number seven. Okay, uh, he's not uh, wearing I a tie. Is, uh -huh, I think that is, I think that is, a tie isn't being wearing by, by his, by him. Okay, remember okay. that the main verb is always past participle. So what is the past tense of where? Were. Aha, uh -huh. and the past participle? Worn. Worn. So a tie isn't being worn by by isn't him. by him. Worn yes. By him. Not being worn by him. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hello, hello. He's coming. Hello. Okay. Okay, Mister. Let's, did you did you finish all the are in number four? Okay. No, no, no. It's, it's kind of we are kind of. of okay. him. So, uh, so, you're do, so you're with... doing number four right now. Now yeah. the, the how first... would be number take a picture of him? Okay, so the first thing you need to do, you need to remember that the, the passive voice. You always need to have verb to be, and the main verb is always, always past participle. So, what is the past tense of take? Taken. Take. Okay, took. take, took, no, taken. Took. So, number four, you should say, a picture of him is being taken. A picture of him is being taken. How do you spell taken? Yeah, it's T A E N. Good. T A K E N. That is correct. So a picture of him is being taken. 
what what would be the answer for number five? It's kind of difficult. This this, this grammar. Yeah, and, and the thing is, it's it's it's. I mean, but is grom if the sentence sentence is him is being taking a picture no it's 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 okay but it's not passive that's active so mm -hmm. he said he's been taking a picture El ha estado tomando una foto. Mm -hmm. so the sentence is good but the message is a little bit different and you're using the active voice so when you're using passive you must use verb to be and the form of the verb has to be always a uh, past participle so mm -hmm. what would be the answer for number five i'm writing a poem that is active that is present continuous how do you say un poem está siendo escrito the poem is being being a poem <laughs> written Aha, uh -huh. a no. poem is being a poem ha, ha, is being is being written. Is being writing. Written. Is being written. written. Write, mm -hmm. wrote, written. Mm -hmm. W R I double T E N written. Yeah, a poem is being written. And that sentence is correct. Yeah, a poem is being written by um. me. If you want to mention who's responsible for the action. Yes. Okay. okay. But I like motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they are really cool. It gives you uh, a feeling like you are free. Completely. Yeah. Teacher, hi. We have we got a questions. Yes, sir. Uh, for the last uh, three sentences, uh, they they are right. We have doubt because they, they were questions. Is the meeting being talked? Are the flowers being watered? Yes, they're good. Uh, is the meeting being right. talked? Yes. Uh, but I have one upon is being written. Football not being played at high. Okay. Uh, what is the past participle of where? Warm. Warm. So it's W O R. -N. Warm. Oh, yeah. Warm. Yeah. Warm. Yeah, but everything else is is perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're good then. Yeah. Your chair looks very comfortable, Shanita. <laughs> Thank you. It's very comfortable. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, one of them executive chairs. Yes where you can sit all day working your computer and nothing will uh, will stop you from working. But it has a problem that when the, the water is hot, that, ch that the chair is hot too. Right. And if you're wearing shorts or a dress, maybe your legs start to sweat? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which, which number are you doing? The number, uh, number nine. nine. Number nine. nine. Okay, it's, are they talking about the meeting? Yes, mm -hmm. it, but it's difficult to, to. Is the meeting. I, I. Maybe, I don't know. Is the meeting what are they talking to? Okay, you could say it. No, but it, you can, but it's not passive. So your 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 answer is mm -hmm. good, but it's not passive. So you said, yes. is the meeting being talked about? Talk is, about. Yeah, is mm -hmm. the meeting being talked about? Uh, about. Yes. Okay. Is the meeting being talked? This one was tricky. Yeah. Yes. It is. yes no. It is. Yes. Talk about. Yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And what about number ten? Is she watering the flowers? Is she watering the flowers? Are the flowers? Are the flowers? Are the flowers being are... watered? Good. 
are the water? flowers being water? watered? Water? water? Yes. Yes. Sir. Are the flowers being watered? With being the ED watered. at the end. Yes. Are the flowers being, being watered? Are the flowers? Are the flowers being watered? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Are the flowers being watered? Okay. Okay. So so you finished all the um, all the exercises. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. Good. So Thank let's, you. let's go back to the main session. Yeah, he's weird. Teacher, help, please. Yes, <laughs> we, we tell have me. A, we have issues with number nine. Number nine. Are they talking about the meeting? Are they so. talking about the meeting? So the answer will be, is the meeting being talked about? Is the meeting being talked about? Mm. Talk, talk. Talked about. Talked about. Yes. Well, we grammatically to... is correct, but it not. Um, we it think doesn't... it's not practic practical. Practically. That's that's a good observation because, um, like I was telling you guys in a real life uh, conversation, people usually speak um, the way the, the sentences are in the active voice, right? Mm. But don't be surprised that when you're speaking with a Greek or a native speaker, all of a sudden they start um, using passive voice. So you need to keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what about the last one? Is she watering the flowers? Are the flowers yeah. being watered? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Are the flowers being watered? Good. Uh, watered is with one or two T's? Uh, no, it, it's with ED, just one D. I, I, I know, I know, but, but if, when you use, when you write water, watered, uh -huh. you have to use one T or two? No, no, only only one. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Only one, yes. With, with, with ED. At with the ED end. at the end, ED. exactly. Oh, with ED you. at the end. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, welcome back. Uh, I need a volunteer to do number two, please. My father is washing the car. Noe, do you have number two? Uh, my, uh, the car is being uh, what by my father. Okay, the car is being washed by my father. Number three, another volunteer. Uh, the cows are being milked. Good, the cows oh. are being milked. Very good. Number four. I can do, the, I can do it. Okay, please. Uh, let, let me check uh, the number four. She is taking a picture of him. Okay. A picture of him it's being take is being told by her. Taken by okay. her. Taken, so, sorry, taken by her. Very good. A picture of him is being taken. Period. Mm -hmm. But if you want to mention who's responsible, you will say it, a picture of by him her. is being taken by her. By her. Good. <laughs> Now remember, as your classmates give the answers, if you have questions or comments, please interrupt us. Uh, number five, I'm writing a question. A... Yes, Herbert. Yes, uh, uh, about this one, uh, we have um, a concert. It's uh -huh. okay if I say he is being featured by her. W one more time, please. He is being pictured by her. He's being pictured by her. Yes, you could say that. Yes, you can. He's being pictured by her. Yes. Or he's being All photographed right. by her. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right. Very good. Okay, number five. I'm writing a poem. A poem. A poem uh, is being... Write for me. Written. 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 Yes. Written for me. By me. 
by me. By me. Yes, yes. Okay. So you say a poem is being written by me. Written. By me. Written. Written. Yes. Re remember that uh, when, you, when you're talking about American pronunciation, uh, let, let me see this here. Um, the chat. Okay. If you have T. Wait a minute. Right. right. Plus a vowel. And then you have letter N. You see the, the chat? Yes. yes. Okay. So when you say written, let me write it for you. Written. Mm -hmm. You have a T. You have a, 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 a vowel in an N. So when that is the termination of the verb, people usually omit the vowel sound. They eliminate written. that sound. So they will say written. Mm, written. 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 Okay. written. How do you pronounce written. this other one? Gotten. 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 Uh -huh. Gotten. Gotten. What about that one? Latin. 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 Yeah, so you say written, written. gotten, written. and Latin. Gotten. Yes. Latin. So once again, this is very, very common with American pronunciation. If you're practicing okay. British pronunciation, they will say written, gotten, in Latin, that's fine. But because of geography, uh, we suggest that people are more familiar with American pronunciation than, than British. So keep that in mind. Okay. Good tip, good tip. Yes, so keep that in mind. Okay, um, what about number six? Oh. We're not playing football. Football is not being played but by us very good football is not being played by, by us, us. uh-huh good he's not wearing a tie bye i'm sorry i can hear okay uh football is not being played by us by us yes by, uh, yes mm-hmm all right, volunteer for number seven. A tie uh, is not being worn, worn. by him. By good. him. A tie is not being worn by him. Very good. Number eight, is she preparing the party? Is the party being prepared by her? Good. Is the party being prepared by her? What about number nine? Are they talking about the meeting? Is the meeting? Oh. Is the meeting have been talked about? Um, is the is meeting about them? By them? Okay. okay, so is the meeting being talked about by, by them. them? By them. The meeting. But if, if you want to concentrate with the passive voice, you will say, is the meeting being talked about? Talked about. If you want to mention who is involved in the action, you will say it by them. By and them. then the last one, is she watering the flowers? The flower, the flower is being watered. Okay, are the flowers, the flowers. being oh. watered? Um, water. 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 Are, Are the flowers the being watered? Watered. Yes. Watered. Watered. Yes. So Can you gonna... spell in that? Sure. That water. Water. Please. Let me chat right here. Watered. Right there. You see okay, the chat? Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so remember. Uh, yes, go ahead. Water. Watered. Uh, watered. Watered. The pronunciation? 
Watered. 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 So remember, when you're using regular verbs, uh, like water, the past tense of, of water is watered, and the past participle stays the same. Play, played, played. Work, worked, worked. So you got to be careful with the ED pronunciation so you sound more natural. Okay? Played. All right. Any questions or comments? Okay. So remember, uh, the passive voice um, is not commonly used. People usually use the active voice. But sometimes you will see people talking to you in the passive voice when you read documents and everything. So you need to be able to understand uh, how the passive voice works. Any questions or comments? No, it's okay. Um, no, it's okay. okay. All right, so let's change activities. Um, do you guys come from a from a big family or a small family? Small family. Or a normal family? Normal family. Okay. Normal family. okay, how many people are considered to be part of a small family? Four or five. Four or five. I will say I four. Remember. Four will be the maximum. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, three or four. What is a normal family? How many people in a normal family? Four. Um, five. Four or five. Two. Four, five. Two. Four, five, six, so maybe. You're Ten. talking about relative or family? Your immediate family, like ah, like okay. uh, brothers, sisters. Oh, okay, no, well, what, what about... It's, it's depend of the country, maybe, because in La like India, the small family have a nine people. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters. Really? Um, That's normal. Or yeah, some it's countries it's in Latin America. <laughs> right. So Country how many <laughs> so how many people are considered to be part of a big family? How many people are we talking about? Um, Ten people? Eight. Six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Okay. I think. Right. Okay. So, um, do 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 you have siblings? Do you have yes. siblings? Yes. Okay. Because yes. remember, when, when you have only boys, you say brothers. When you have girls, you say sisters. But if you have a combination of both, you say siblings. In my case, I have three brothers. I don't have siblings. Oh, right? Siblings. Okay, so siblings makes reference to brothers yes. and sisters. Okay. Brothers and sisters. Okay. Now, um, how do you say hermanastro in English? The brother. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Brother Step brother, no. no Step brother. If you say brother-in-law, you're saying cuñado. Mm. So you say uh -huh. stepbrother. Now step imagine brother. now imagine Juan and I we have the the same father but different mother. What is the relationship between us? Your stepbrothers. Well, so mm. the same father brother. but different mother. Yes. Brother. Half brother. Half brother. Half brother. Half brother. Half brother. Medio hermano, half sister. <laughs> okay. So today's topic is um, you'll be talking about your siblings. And the unique son? <laughs> uh, an only son, right. An only son, right. So an only son, an only kid is when you don't have brothers and you don't have sisters okay let me open this page for you mm -hmm. okay the nine to ten right here okay all right so um 
the questions are in the chat. This is your time to improve your fluency. Uh, the previous exercise, we were answering certain questions with a specific structure. This time is your time to speak freely and try to apply everything you know about the, the language. Uh -huh. So we got this here, two, four. All right, so here we go. Loading, loading, loading. Uh, how we can do if you want going to ask the same question the first question and then I don't know who of you answer do you think siblings wait wait, 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 wait sorry do he do you think having siblings or being an only child is better who are you going to answer yeah so what is better for you to have brothers and sisters or to be yeah. alone? I think number one, do you think having siblings or being an only child is better? I think having siblings, having siblings is better. Why do you say that, Sarai? <laughs> I maybe the only child is is bored, boring, bored, bored, bored. bored. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, and the child uh, need to play with other other kids. Other kids, yes. Okay. Do you have siblings, Sarai? Yes, I have uh, two. Okay. Two brothers. Two brothers. All right. So you were the only girl. Yes. All right. What about you, Carlos? Well, in my case, uh, nobody asked if I want to be an only child. You know, <laughs> 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 we are five. Uh, I have three sisters and one brother. We are five. So it was great. I I, I can't complain, but. At least in, in for my uh, my old family, I I would prefer to my daughter to be an only child, but in, it, it wasn't possible because her mom uh, have has another kid, a boy, you know. Okay. But at, at least in my case, she she is my only child. Okay. I, I think it's better, at least in my in, in my. In my head. <laughs> okay, so you have you have one daughter and a stepson. No, because I am divorced. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. After after our relationship, she got uh, with another person, and okay. still have a boy. All yeah. right, all right, I understand. All right. And it is difficult to be a woman. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh. All the secrets. <laughs> uh, yes, oh, I oh see. <laughs> <laughs> I am shame. <laughs> yes. Well, yes, you're right. Well, okay. please the second one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Brother or um, sister, which are better? For me, it's, I don't have comparison. I think it's it's the same. Uh, in probably for um, 
because in in my case I, ha I have a sister and I have a a, a brother and mm -hmm. no I I I can uh, I, I can say yes yes it, mm -hmm. I love my brother and and I love my sister so mm -hmm. only are very <laughs> deep. you stay because she lives in Houston and ah when that's good visit me and she leaves her close uh, to me <laughs> is the same size and size is the same and shirts and pants and shoes even that's good mm -hmm. you have a lot of things of her <laughs> how old is your daughter alma brisa <laughs> okay Oh, hello. How old is she? Oh, she she's better. Um, uh, twenty eight. Uh, twenty eight years, years old. old. Okay. So, uh huh. And she lives in Houston. My daughter uh, uh, visiting today. Uh, last Saturday. Okay. She, all right, her home in okay. All right, good. When is she coming back? Uh, probably in December or in January. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. good, good. <laughs> Have you seen any of your ex classmates, Alma Brisa? Uh, please. Have you, see Have you seen any of your ex classmates? No, teacher. Never? No, no you we, haven't? We talk uh, for the WhatsApp, but... Uh, That's I it? That's it. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. I didn't. You, you haven't seen them? No, I haven't seen them. All right. I uh, exchanged my... Yeah, my classmate. Uh, Okay. Extraña? I miss them. I miss them. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Marlene. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you. For example, my brothers, eh, my three brothers are, are serious. And I think I I like, I, me parezco. I don't know. I, I have look like the that. Similar, the character, okay. the character is similar. So you consider yourself. I a, look uh, like them. So do you consider yourself? For a, example, a, in in character. Where? You mean the personality? She she want. Yes. 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 So your brothers are serious, Janita? Sorry? Your brothers are, your brothers are serious? Yes, my brothers are serious. And I am too. Really? We are angry. Okay. Yes, we are angry. <laughs> and temperamental. And that I am the most angry of them. Really? And are your brothers younger or yes, older than you? Because I am the very older. I am the baby. I am the last one. Oh. And they say that I have the, the to, to command them or give the advance. Always I am doing that. Okay. All right. The last one is always like that. You think so? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I am the older brother. And my my younger sister is exactly like that. He's always giving orders and stuff like that. Like, sh sh you are the youngest. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it happens. It is an advantage to be the last one. It is an advantage because uh, when my when they are, for example, saying something to me, my my mother always say, "You don't have to say anyone. 
anything to to her because you have to care to her. her. Yeah, so they have to spoil you. Yeah, exactly. Because with the with the older one, the parents practice. They don't have patience. Right. And with the youngest, they, they are like tired and they say, it's okay, whatever. <laughs> you can eat whatever you want. You can do whatever. They are tired. So the the older ones say, you never act like with me like that before. We say, I, I don't care anymore. It's, it's okay. Right. Nothing happened, you know. Yeah, I and have seen cases like that. Older, older brothers and sisters are. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, it, it happens <laughs> sometimes. Many, many uh, positive things, but my yeah. younger is different. She's a uh, leafy, uh, she uh, does, doesn't work at home. So, <laughs> Due, due to I have uh, all time um, uh, confronting her, but not if not the same with my my older my older, uh, older. My, my older uh, uh, daughter. Yes, she works at home. She study. Uh, she she. So it's very quiet. <laughs> very quiet. Yes, they are very different. <laughs> How many children do you have, Noe? I have two, two daughters. Okay. And how do you say regañar? Okay. <laughs> how do you say frío in English? Cold. 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 So you put letter S at the beginning and you say scold. That means regañar. Uh, it's cold. Yes, scold. Uh, okay. So I have to scold my... A uh, younger, uh, my daughter? younger uh, daughter, uh, very often. <laughs> okay. How old is your youngest daughter, Noe? What? what? How old is she, your youngest daughter? My youngest, uh, she's uh, 14. Yeah. 14 years old. Teenager. I'm teenager, yes. And my older is... Uh, 19. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. teenagers are not easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ovidio, <laughs> how many children do you uh, have? Uh, I have two, two children. What ages? Uh, my, my son is 26 years old and my daughter is 18 years 18. old. 18, okay, mm -hmm. all right. And you, Eduardo, how many children do you have? I have two. What uh, ages? One boy. Uh, the boy is 10 years old, and the girl is uh, five years old. Five, okay. Yeah. Mister. Yes. Uh, and in, in your case, how, how, how many children do you have? I have five. Five? No. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I have five. You, you have I, a big family. Um, it's a big family. <laughs> yes, you know, my, my first daughter, she is um, 27. My son is 22. My third daughter, she's 18. Uh, my other daughter, she's five years old. And my last boy is three and a half. Wow. Many difference between the last and your first. Exactly. Yeah, there is yes. a big difference, like uh, like almost 25 years. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, who, uh, who, uh, but you have with, 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 with the same mother or with other? No, with different ones. Ah, okay. yeah, 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 yes. okay. yeah. That's yeah. Why. yeah, because because too too uh, because too too much different of, of age, right, right, yeah. So yeah, mm, yeah. different mother, different mother. 
Ah, uh, okay. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that explains everything. That's why I was, I was surprised. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, talk to you later. About uh, 18 or 20 years, and after that, I was born. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I I don't prefer uh, older or younger. For me, it's the same. You have a, advantage and disadvantage. And disadvantage. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I am happy with uh, my older brother. <laughs> you are the baby girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you only I have one. I prefer older brother. <laughs> yeah, they they protect you. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, black, uh, black eye, black oveja. <laughs> I what? <laughs> Me. I am the black, uh, how do you say oveja? I don't the, remember. The black sheep? Black <laughs> sheep, <laughs> yes. And my brother, <laughs> my brother is uh, an angel with my parents. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I'll meet your parents one day and I will ask them why you're the black sheep. <laughs> I say mayor, um, uh, the older, and they don't believe because it's it's rare. It's, <laughs> that I think. Okay. Um, let all me right. see how. Okay, sir. Did Did you finish all the questions? No. Not completely. Okay, so I think it's time to go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you, Versailles. All right, all right. Welcome back. Um, any questions or comments about your siblings? No? No. No. Okay, so are you happy with your siblings? Sometimes. Oh, I, 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 I have a question, I have a question. Yes, Eduardo. If a family, okay, if a family just have, an example, have five boys, he, he can say, I have five sons. He, he can say, I have five siblings. Because they are uh, boys. No. Uh, if, 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 it's, if that's the case, he will say, I have five brothers. My brother. Or if you're the father, you yeah. will say, I have five sons. Yeah, son. Because siblings is exclusively used when you're talking about brothers and sisters. Boy and boy. Yeah. No it's, matter the... No matter how many. No, it doesn't matter. It can be two boys and three girls, or vice versa, three boys and two girls. So it really doesn't matter how many boys or how many girls. It can be just one each, and you will say, I have yeah. two siblings, one brother and one sister. Yeah, okay. Okay. The, the, that one so I can, See, siblings I, is, I, just, is, is, is just when, when you have a boy and a girl. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. I don't have feelings. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. So once again, thank you very much for making the space. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. See you later. Bye. 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 See ya.